thank you for watching this video subscribe to my channel okay time for another parable well i used a similar par parable before but let's say now you have a businessman and this businessman got into a deal and this deal is a deal of 5 million euros so it's an important deal and the deal works two years later his own business has increased so everything's going well suddenly the police arrive at this house they tell him Cheng let's say it's a Chinese guy called Cheng of with his last name or they ask him Cheng um, we need to talk to you and he says okay what for um, do you know a guy called Tanaka it's a Japanese businessman and then you say yeah of course he's one of my business partners we did good business together the past three years and the police asked him, Mr. Sheng, did you notice anything weird about Mr. Tanaka when you were interacting with him? Strange contacts, strange phone calls. Mr. Sheng said, nope, I didn't. I was only there for business. I didn't care about this personal life. That's not, that's not my field. And the police leaves. Your wife, I say, you're Mr. Sheng. Your wife asked you, honey, the cops came here for Mr. Tanaka, right? And you say, yeah. Well, I told you, honey, to beware of that guy. Then Mr. Sheng, I say, you say, okay, dear, please. We talked about this three years ago. I don't want to whine about it again. I went into this deal with Mr. Tanaka because he's a professional businessman. He knows feel better than I do. Then your wife tells you, um, okay, but if he is such a good businessman, why is it not recommended by the Japanese newspapers? Just like we have Forbes, just like we have all these celebrity uh, magazines that celebrate the rich, why is this celebrated amongst them? I mean, he's of the world, right? So if he's so big in the world, then people of the world should notice him. Why isn't anyone noticing him in his own country? Well, you didn't pay much attention to it. But then we begin to think, hold on a minute. It doesn't add up. So you look into it and you found out that this guy, Tanaka, has a history of hanging around hardwired criminals. And the number one investors in his company were hardwired criminals. They understood, they understood what was going on. Now, what am I saying here? If hardwired criminals are so interested in investing in you, then anyone in society will tell you something doesn't add up. Well, based on this parable, I'm telling you, when Satan is praising you, something doesn't add up. You know you're messing up, you know you're going completely wrong when the enemy begins to clap for you. Unfortunately, there are people when the enemy begins to clap for them, they think they're all right. No, I'm telling you, be alert. Not everyone that praises you has the best intentions for you. So don't let time fool you and look at the bigger picture. We have peace.